folks, uh, this is the one of the, well, not quite the final step um, in doing the silks, but you know, I talk about steaming all the time. The steaming process sets the dye and makes it molecularly bond with the silk so that it's permanent. Um, the steamer that I have is a great big stainless steel box that goes across two burners on my stove. And I roll up the silks. I think you've seen me doing, you've seen me unroll it, but I roll them up in paper. See, this is my big paper roll up here um, that I spread across this table and lay out the silks. And I roll them up nice and flat, except for the activity scarves don't go flat because they're supposed to be crinkly. Anyway, this is a batch of flat scarves that I'm gonna unroll. They've been steaming for three hours this morning on the stove. Um, and the steam process melts out the wax that I've been putting on, as you've seen over this uh, past few days, and the paper soaks up the wax. And um, the next step after I take these out of the paper will be to wash them out, get all the remaining, any resist or, or wax that remains in the silk, get that out, um, and then dry them and press them and then photograph them. Then they're ready to ship. So I'm letting you in on the reveal here. I mean. They're still going to look the same, but without the wax, which is, then you can really see what they look like. So this is the fun part. And we save all this paper, by the way, um, to start our fires with. It's nice because it's saturated in wax, so it acts as a nice fire starter. So here we go. So you can see the wax marks on the paper. There was a lot of wax in this batch. nicely, huh? of the chakras from the head to the toe. this resist gets stuck on the paper and I've had it tear the silk before so you have to be very careful I'm rolling it there we go a nice this is called snowstorm it's a light blue and gray salt design snow mermaid snowstorm <laughs> okay that's it next time you see them they'll be photographed for real see ya